Hi, everyone, and welcome to the latest episode of Lanyap. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about a topic I'm very passionate about, but one that I know drives a lot of people crazy, and that's returned or undeliverable mail. And it's these pesky yellow stickers that I know most of you have seen and really don't like to see. Now, regardless of how clean your data is, and that may be cleaning you're doing on your end or the cleaning that we do as part of our mailing process, NCOA, CAS address standardization, deduping, suppressions, etc. Even with all that in place, some percentage of your mail is going to be undeliverable. And that could be for any number of reasons. A lot of people don't file changes of address when they move, so of course we're not going to catch those. Uh, maybe a P.O. box has been closed and there's no notification of that. And unfortunately, something that's probably more common than usual in these current times with COVID is that the recipient may be deceased. So what a lot of people don't know is that undeliverable standard class mail by default is actually discarded by the post office. So you're not receiving those pieces back with standard class mail. So you don't have that feedback loop to know, hey, this person's not receiving the mail. I should probably remove them from future mailings. And what happens sometimes is that a few pieces will kind of slip through the cracks through the Postal Service. And so you're maybe getting one or two or five pieces back on a bigger mailing. And that kind of lulls people into thinking and you know, kind of giving them a false sense of security that their data is super clean. And then what happens a lot of times is that you know, you'll go to do a first class mailing. Um, you know, maybe you're worried that the piece isn't going to get there soon enough, so you use first class. Well, with first class mail, you actually do get your return mail back physically. So all of a sudden, what happens is you have a ton of return mail flood back in, and you're wondering, well, where did this come from? Why did this happen? And that's because those people weren't receiving your standard class mail pieces, but again, you weren't receiving it. So you've likely been mailing to those people over and over again and spending unnecessary postage and production costs. Now, there is an alternative or, or an option for standard class mail. You can use a special endorsement, something like return service requested. And what will happen with that is, with standard class mail, if you use that endorsement, any undeliverable mail is actually returned back to you physically but you're paying the single piece rate to receive each one of those standard class mail pieces. That's 55 cents a piece now, and it's about to go up. So with that and with first class mail, again, anytime you're receiving that mail back physically, in addition to any postage costs, you still have the labor costs associated with physically sorting through that mail, making sense of it all, and then any of the manual key punching that you're going to do to update your system accordingly. So the big question is, what do I do about that? And it's a question that we've been asked for many years. So several years ago, we developed a product called Franklin Forward ACS. And with our ACS service, we code your mail a very specific way such that we receive back all of your undeliverable and forwarded mail data electronically for both standard and first class mail at no charge to you. And we consume that data and then present it to you via our client portal for you to be able to download as needed and use to update your systems accordingly. And we've even got some clients where we've set up automated data pushes maybe on a daily or a weekly basis and they've got a process on their end where they're actually consuming that data automatically and making updates to their system so they can maybe you know, cull people from future mailings or schedule follow-ups to try to retrieve you know, good address information from them, you know, any number of business rules that they may set up. A great added bonus to the ACS service is that if you've given us a unique ID up front, like a player ID, or a customer number or a donor ID, when you retrieve that ACS data, it actually includes that unique ID back to you, which makes it really, really easy to tie it back to your database. And you're not having to do fuzzy searches for names and addresses. Again, you just use that unique ID and tie it right back to that player 
or that donor and you're able to make the necessary updates to your systems. We also recognize that some smaller organizations don't necessarily have the resources to be able to make these updates to your systems. And so we're also able to take your ACS data and apply it towards future mailings for you and actually suppress out people that have received return mail so that again you're not continuously sending pieces to those people that are not receiving it. We have a great example of a client that was really, really passionate about ACS. Once we you know, kind of spoke to them about it, I think they recognized the value. So we set up a daily data push for them and they set up a process on their side that was consuming that data every day and updating their systems accordingly to suppress these players from future mailings. And in six months, their undeliverable as addressed percentage went from about 4% to below 1%. And they're now saving tens of thousands of dollars in production and postage costs every month. You know, I'm always preaching that the data is only as good as what you do with it. And I think it's never been more applicable than it is with return and undeliverable mail. Now if you have any questions at all about returned or undeliverable mail or our ACS service, please give us a call at 800-375-0504 or email us at info at gofranklingo.com. Take care and thanks for watching.